Yeah. Well, Tommy, first of all, happy birthday. Thank you very much. Yeah. How, how you. did you spend time with your family and all the rest of it? How did you celebrate? How did you? <laughs> it's a new chapter in your life now, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but to be honest, uh, I spent time with my friends at mm -hmm. home. I had their lunch and their dinner with them, yeah. Was it good? Yeah, it was a good day, yeah. Yeah? Whoa. It was not best because uh, we lost the game against Newcastle. But birthdays are before. birthdays, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you have to always celebrate. Yeah. Um, I also want to give you another cause of celebration. It seems like the Arsenal fans seem to absolutely adore you. Mm -hmm. October's Player of the Month, according to yeah. the Arsenal fans as well. Mm -hmm. How are you enjoying just life at Arsenal at this moment in time? Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying a lot because, uh, as you said, I've got the uh, uh, play of the month in October. But, you know, I feel more like I feel less responsible for that trophy because I need to keep uh, playing well and I need to keep, keep uh, working hard, yeah. I just spoke to the manager and the worst thing is the thing that he described you as is loved by the club, loved by your attitude, loves who you are as a person, mm -hmm. just happy to be around. When you hear someone talk about you like that, if anybody spoke about me like that, I'd be smiling. It's, <laughs> yeah, happy. When you hear the manager speak about you and make reference to you like that, how does it make you feel? Yeah, make me proud. And uh, yeah, I'm so happy to hear that, yeah. Well, let's get into the Champions League, right? You've already had a taste of what Sevilla is like in their home ground. Now you bring them to your home field in the Emirates, another Champions League night. Mm -hmm. How do you approach it differently? Or, or do you approach it differently? Yeah, obviously, it won't be an easy game because uh, when we faced the, against them last time, away from home, it was a uh, so difficult game and tough one. So, yeah, it won't be an easy game. But this time... We can play at home and uh, our supporters get uh, behind us, for sure. We need to just go, go for it and uh, to take uh, three points with the supporters, yeah. What's the keys? I mean, you took the three points in Spain. Mm -hmm. What was the keys in terms of a victory? and What can you bring into this one to make sure you get six points from the two mm -hmm. games against Sevilla? Mm. Well, I think... We should focus on ourselves, what we have to do, what we can do to hurt them. Especially, we lost, uh, we lost uh, two games in a row, mm -hmm. last two games. So we need to be back on winning ways, yeah. What did you learn about those two games that you can turn around and say that, you know, response to the feats are the most important thing in football. Mm -hmm. So how do you now change those two losses into a, a, a crucial victory in the next game? I think simple things, you know, we have to win each verse and uh, yeah, basics mm. and uh, yeah, basics has to be best. Yeah, simple things. Yeah, we need to win the duels and uh, we need to score. We need to defend our house. Yeah, we need to do basics well. Yeah. I like how you think about every single answer before you answer, because it tells me that you're a well thought through person. Mm -hmm. You really care about what you're about to say. So I'm going to ask you a personal question now. Have you had a chance to think about how far your journey has been? I mean, you think about different places. Now you're playing in Champions League, uh -huh. elite European level. Um, it's no. incredible. <laughs> yeah, it's incredible, yeah. Yeah, because five or six years ago, I was in Japan, in second division. Mm. So I didn't imagine that uh, I'm playing for Arsenal and the uh, Champions League as well, yeah. When you size up in the tunnel and you think about that, those last five years, when you're going to be playing against the likes of Sergio Ramos tomorrow, you know, yeah. Rakitic, yeah. 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 Jesus Navas, these uh -huh. are the players that are well known around Europe, but yeah. you have your own respect in terms of what you've done. So, yeah. how do you kind of take that all in? Well, yeah, it's a special thing for me to play against uh, those players. But also, you know, with my teammates as well. We've got. Martin Rudigo, Gabriel Jesus, you know? <laughs> <laughs> yes, so yeah, I'm so proud of that uh, to play with, uh, with my teammates as well and uh, to play against them as well, yeah. 
I can see why they like you in the changing room. See, that's what you do. That's the smart thing you do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and someone talks about your teammates, you bring them up. Yeah. I like that. That's very smart. Um, one thing that's really been a compliment that a lot of people have given to you is your versatility. Whether you play left back, whether you play right back, whether you play centre half, inverted full back into the centre midfield position. Tommy Ashley seems to be able to do it all. Where did you learn so many different variables in your game? The hmm. first, I don't know. Me neither, you, you know. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> because I didn't, I didn't try to be master player. Mm. So I don't know, but I just want to be on the pitch and uh, I just want to help uh, the team on the pitch. Yeah, that's it. it doesn't matter which play, uh, which uh, position I play. I mean, that's just an amazing mentality to have, regardless of where you want to play, you just want to turn around and help the team. So tell me what the messaging has been like between you and the players. You spoke about it earlier. You said you want to respond to those defeats. Mm -hmm. What are the talks between you as the players, the, how you respond to those defeats now? Yeah, obviously, the atmosphere of the dressing room after the game against Newcastle mm -hmm. was not the best because we lost the game. Of course, when we lose the game, it's a normal thing. But if you are playing football, you cannot win every game. If you play 100 games, you you cannot win 100 games. So, and uh, we know that we know how to respond and uh, to learn from uh, the from the game like that. And uh, yeah, we are ready to get three points against uh, Sevilla. Yeah. I've spoken to Mikel a few times this year. And one thing that I would definitely describe him as is passionate. Mm -hmm. He loves managing. He loves individuals, clearly. But what's it like, the day-to-day -day with him? What's it like being under his tutelage? And I see the smile <laughs> that comes across your face straight away. Well, what is it like in terms of the interactions with Mikel on a day-to-day -day basis? Yeah, but depends. Sometimes she smiles more. <laughs> So it depends, you know. <laughs> how, do, how do you know when to turn around and speak to him? When he's smiling more? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, depends. So I cannot say the day before the game, he's like this, you know, because he changes. All the time. Yeah. I mean, that's normal, that's a part of life. But one thing that did bring a smile to his face when I spoke to him earlier is you have the opportunity to qualify yeah, from yeah. the group now. And I know that would have been the objective naturally going into it when everything started. Now you're only one game away, depending on other fixtures. How does that make you feel? And do you feel closer to your objectives now? Uh, yeah, I think so. Because, uh, as you said, uh, it's a massive opportunity to, to qualify for the, next uh, for the next round. So, yeah, we have to go for it. And uh, we are trying to get this massive opportunity. Yeah. I can see why everyone likes Tommy Asu, man. Yeah, <laughs> I can see it. Thank you, Tommy. I appreciate Thank you. you so much, my best. Thank, Thank you very much. much.